Hi, my name is Genevieve and today I'm making red velvet cupcakes. This is my red velvet cupcake recipe. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. These are all the ingredients that I'll need. I have one and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour ready to sift, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt in here. And then my wet ingredients, I have one cup of sugar, one egg, half a tablespoon of white vinegar. This is one ounce of red food coloring and half a cup of oil and half a cup of buttermilk all in here. First is I'm gonna mix all my dry ingredients together. So in goes my cocoa powder, salt, and baking soda. Sift to make sure there's no clumps. And now I'm gonna mix my wet ingredients together. Sugar, my egg, egg and sugar are nicely mixed. Now I'm gonna add my oil and my buttermilk. Vinegar. And now my red food coloring. Be careful when you mix it. This is why I wore black. Okay, now I'm gonna marry my wet and dry ingredients together. So as with everything, the cake didn't do anything to you, so don't beat it up. Treat it nicely and you only want to mix it until the flour just disappears, just like that. So I had a red velvet cake that I really liked and this company makes um, all kinds of bundt cakes. <laughs> and their red velvet cake uses chocolate chips in theirs and I just thought it was so good. So ever since then I've been using chocolate chips and I've never turned back. Toss it around and that's it. If you are making cupcakes, Make your life easy. Each cupcake gets two scoops. <laughs> I have leftovers, so I'm gonna make some mini cupcakes. So each mini cupcake gets like half a scoop. Maybe three-fourths of a scoop. Time to bake. My cupcakes just finished baking. It took the mini cupcakes 10 minutes for a toothpick to be inserted and come out clean. And it took my regular size cupcakes 14 minutes for a toothpick to be inserted and come out clean. So now they're just gonna chill out on this cooling rack while I make the frosting. This is everything you need for the cream cheese frosting. I'm gonna use half a brick of cream cheese, half a cup of unsalted butter, one and a fourth cup of powdered sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. By the way, I just pulled these out of the refrigerator. They're not room temperature at all. And the reason being is because I want my butter and my cream cheese to be the same temperature. Yes, I could have pulled it out at room temperature, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'll just go in. I'm gonna break up the butter with my beaters. Okay, once your butter is nice and creamy like that, then you're gonna add your cream cheese. Okay, my cream cheese, butter, they look like one, I can't tell them apart, so now I'm gonna add in my powdered sugar. Vanilla. not too sweet it's just perfect <laughs> mm, that is really mm, yum 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 now I'm using a star tip again I feel like I always use star tips but I like piping flowers so Okay, I'm done piping. 
I like, I really like making these mini ones for people who can't commit to a big one, but it's funny to see them ending up eating like five or six mini ones. <laughs> I'm extra member, so of course I'm going to decorate. Now that all the cupcakes are done, I'm going to try one. Cheers. Mmm, right away, right away. That hits, and that hits good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just look at how soft and moist it is. This is a good cupcake. So I've made red velvet cupcakes a lot and sometimes if I make it for a crowd, I'll get somebody who will tell me, oh, I'm not really a red velvet person and I don't really like red velvet. And then they'll eat this and they'll come back and say, okay, but I like your red velvet. So if you don't like red velvet, Give this recipe a try. Maybe I can change your mind. I don't know. I just know this is a good cupcake. Mmm. I haven't ate all my vegetables today, so I don't deserve to finish this whole cupcake yet. I'm gonna save this for later. You have to make this. It's super easy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.